Hey guys, here's an Orchid Bloom video. So today is May 26th and I'm going to show some of the orchids here I have featured in previous videos and some are new to this channel. So let's get started with the one that has appeared most frequently. So this one was in a haul video in November and then in March I provide an update where it started blooming again. It was a clearance orchid from Ikea. So it's been in bloom for a couple of months now on secondary spikes. So I'm really enjoying it. Um, the strange thing about this one is the flowers kind of face up. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's the lighting in my house. The one in the back here is a generic complex white fowl, no name. It's very pretty and it blooms frequently. Got it from my sister and she kind of rescued it from her co-worker. Uh, let's see. This one up here is the famous Sherry Baby. And they're famous because they're supposed to smell like chocolate. And I do have a uh, fragrance. And yeah, the closest thing I can think of is chocolate or maybe some sort of very sweet dessert. So one spike, but hopefully in the future I can get more than one spike. And it does have two new growths in the center right here. One, two. It's taking forever. They've been kind of small for a while, but hopefully now that the uh, temperatures are getting warmer and there's should be a lot more natural light, hopefully it will grow a lot faster. So here is one of the mini fells that I have and this was also featured in a previous video. It was blooming in March and as you can see I, one of the blooms has dropped. But so it's been a couple of months and that's not too bad at all. Um, only problem is that some of the leaves have dropped like in the middle, which is probably not good. But you know, these black markings are kind of suspicious, but I think they've been on here since I got the orchid. Um, as you can see, this this one on the very bottom has, you know, that black marking. It's probably the old, uh, at least a couple years old and it's still hanging on. So I'm not sure what's going on there, but uh, there's a new leaf and, you know, it was able to bloom, so. I don't think that black stuff is great, but it doesn't seem to inhibit the plant too badly since it can do both new leaves and bloom with it. Um, here is a no ID fowl. It looks like the kaleidoscope, but I don't think it is. And so there's two spikes, one with a single flower and the one in the front has five flowers. Very pretty. Sorry for the shakiness. This one right here, it's hanging over, has only two blooms. It's kind of sad. It's because you can see these empty nodes. There was a bunch of bud glass. I think there were aphids in some of the buds and I wasn't keeping it well hydrated. Um, I might need to repot it to give it uh, a better angle so fowls naturally grow sideways like this when they hang off trees but um, in my house it's pretty dry so when the new roots grow up here it kind of dries out and um, at least this past growing season it, you know, in the past it didn't have that much trouble but you can see this new root growing here it's going to have to travel all the way down and might not even, you know, go down. It might just go straight up. So I might repot it just to change the angle a little bit so the roots can, you know, find uh, the media easily and stay hydrated instead of just being air roots. And last but not least, let me get out this huge orchid in a recent haul video is the Grammatophyllum and look at how large the bulbs are. 
So unfortunately I'm getting yellowing leaves, but um, I'm not sure what's going on with that. There's one leaf that fell off already, but it was from the oldest bulb. So wasn't too concerned. Um, but then this one started yellowing really quickly. But again, this is, looks like the second oldest bulb and the oldest leaf on the second oldest bulb. So maybe it's natural. I don't know. It's, it gets a very short period of direct sunlight when the sun crosses the skylight. Um, and it's sitting on my dining room table and there's three windows not including the skylight in this room, so it's very bright. Um, I do think after, it does like bright light. Um, at least that's what I found in my research. Maybe it's the humidity um, that it's not liking because it's dry in my house. And then save the best for last. Look at these flowers. Aren't they amazing? And the spike is Nice and long. I don't know what the name of this is. It was just, uh, had no label at all, but it is a grammatophyllum. I just don't know what kind of uh, grammatophyllum it is. So if you guys know, let me know. I was able to find a lot of, uh, pictures online that look similar but every time I click on you know a link I find a different name so yeah I really enjoy this one it looks like it's still going strong and look at this huge spike I'm just so impressed anyways thanks for watching and happy growing. Bye-bye.